Hi, welcome to the latest Circuit for Teams product update. We have one technical and four usability updates to share with you today. These new features will help you integrate Circuit for Teams with your existing systems and improve route planning and performance tracking. So let's dive in. First up, we've released another update to our API. This means it's now possible to automate the optimization and distribution of routes to drivers. From data import to creating and allocating routes to drivers, you can now automate your delivery process from start to finish. You can find full technical documentation for the API by logging into your account and going to settings and then integrations and clicking here. It's now possible to create custom delivery zones. It's super easy to create and edit your delivery zones. Just go to settings, click on delivery zones, and click on the areas of the map you want to add to a zone. Go to options, give your zone a name, add a driver or multiple drivers to that zone, and select a colour. Save your zone. You can go back and edit your zone at any point. Now with delivery zone set up, when you import your route data, any stops within a zone will automatically be added to a route created within that zone and allocated to one of the associated drivers. You can now set a limit for the maximum number of stops per driver per route. This can help to make sure that drivers with limited vehicle capacity or on certain routes do not have too many stops added to their route. You can set a maximum number of stops per driver in two ways. Set a maximum number of stops per driver at the depot level, and this limit will then apply to all drivers associated with that depot. You can do this by going to settings, depots, selecting the depot you want, and setting a maximum number of stops per driver limit here. Or you can set a maximum number of stops per driver at an individual driver level. Just go to team members, select the driver you wish to edit, edit their information, click route overrides, select this toggle and set their maximum number of stops. This will apply to this driver in particular and will override any other settings. It's now easier than ever to keep on top of your operational costs by setting your own custom cost per delivery figure. Head to your team settings here and select the units of measurement you wish to use. Then set a custom cost per hour figure and cost per mile. These figures will be used to calculate your specific cost per delivery, and that can be tracked in your analytics reports. And finally, our latest analytics report lets you compare the difference between how long circuit estimates a route should take and how long it actually took your drivers. Use this report to dig into the detail of performance and improve your efficiency. Go to Settings Analytics to use it. To stay up to date with the latest product updates, click What's New in your account to visit our change log.